welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm going to share today with you our autumn winter fabric haul and I am so excited to share these fabrics with you. They are amazing. Um, we've got coating, we've got suiting, we've got Liberty Lawn, we've got jerseys, we've got ponties. They're just screaming out to get in your handmade winter wardrobe. They're just absolutely gorgeous. As always, I'll make pattern suggestions and I haven't been able to talk through everything because there is so much, but the links to our website are below and all of the patterns and the fabrics I mentioned today are available on our website so just click the links below and you'll find what you're looking for and before I start talking through the new fabrics I should talk about what I'm wearing which is a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top um, which I made in our gorgeous rose print knit fabric um, this fabric is just absolutely amazing it's available on our website and it is just so super soft it's really really warm it's really well behaved so when you're cutting it out it doesn't curl up at the ends it just lies nice and flat it's easy to find your straight of grain honestly I cannot recommend this fabric highly enough it's just so comfortable and so lovely to wear um, and very very on trend with the whole dark florals theme this winter as well so now I'll go on to our new fabric. So I'll start with the coatings. The first one I want to talk to you about is absolutely amazing. I just love this fabric. So all of the compositions of these fabrics are available on the website. You'll find them there. Um, I believe this is a wool mix fabric. It's got a slight silver fleck to it, which is just absolutely beautiful. And I think if I just move it in the light there, you can see that slight subtle sheen that's created by that silver fleck. I just think it's really, really stunning. It's really, really a beautiful beautiful fabric that would help you to stand out from the crowd and um, the pattern that I would use if I was going to make a coat with that fabric is Butterick 6385 which is a very classic tailored coat it's knee length and there's options for a funnel neck or an open collar um, and I just think it would work really well in that fabric I think it would create a very classic chic coat that you would wear for years to come the next fabric I wanted to talk to you about is this beautiful boiled wool. Um, I believe this is a wool poly mix, but again, all the compositions are on the website, so check there for full details. But you can see the beautiful drape and movement in this fabric, and it's um, very on trend in the cranberry colour. This season, it is all about the berry colours and the wines and those sorts of tones, so very, very on trend. We've also got an alternative colourway in that fabric um, in this kingfisher blue, which is beautiful as well. And just a really nice way to add a pop of colour to your winter wardrobe. Just because it's miserable and dull outside doesn't mean, you know, our wardrobes have to be that way. So I really like that about those fabrics. Um, but if you do prefer a more neutral palette, we have also got it in a nice grey colour as well. So that's available on the website. And the pattern that I chose for those um, boiled walls is Butterick 6107 which is a really nice um, unlined coat so in theory it should be a bit easier and quicker to make than a lined coat um, it's kind of like a swing coat so I think it will show off the drape and the movement of those fabrics really well and again there's options for a funnel neck or um, an open collar on that um, pattern and it's quite loose fitting so quite contemporary I think it would work really really well the other option that I chose as well was um, a Birder jacket, 6465, and we are all absolutely in love with this jacket at So Essential. It's a really nice modern take on a classic French look jacket. Um, I think it would work really well in the boiled wool. Um, and yeah, we've got a poster up on the wall at So Essential with this jacket on it because we love it so much. It's such a cute pattern. So that's those. The next one I wanted to talk to you about is this jacquard, which again, this is just really upping the luxury fabric stakes. Um, it's just beautiful. The pattern's beautiful. Um, the colours are beautiful. You can see here that it's sort of like a, almost like a sheen to it. Um, it's got like almost like a very sort of subtle pale goldy sort of colour um, and some pale blues it's just really 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 stunning and I think would make an absolutely beautiful dress coat and I think if you made a dress coat in that fabric I think you would wear it for years and years to come 
Now my pattern choices for that fabric were um, Simplicity 8246, which is a lovely 1960s vintage dress coat, absolutely gorgeous, and comes with suit and skirt and dress options as well, so you get a lot of use out of that pattern. And then there's Butterick 5966, which is another alternative, which is a nice sort of um, fairly fitted coat with princess seams and then a full skirt to the knee um, with other options as well. Either of those I think would look lovely in that jacquard and do it justice. Um, and then back to the colour thing, if you want to inject a bit of colour into your winter wardrobe, we've got some really nice options here for you. So first off I'm going to show you um, this tweed effect. Um, fabric which is pink with sort of wine coloured um, flecks in it so you can see that a bit better closer up to the camera there and um, again you know there's good drape and movement in this fabric um, and I just think a really nice way to add a little bit of colour to your winter wardrobe but you know it's understated enough that you would be able to wear it every day and it would go with everything and the other option that we've got is this lovely um, dog tooth fabric. So it's black and pink, um, which again, a nice sort of understated way to add a bit of colour to your wardrobe, to your winter wardrobe. And you can see the weight and drape of that fabric there. Now, once again, those fabrics would look really, really cute, especially the dog tooth, I think would look really lovely, made up in that birder jacket pattern that I shared with you. But the other option that I chose as well, if you wanted to make a coat, was Simplicity 1067. Um, the option I think would work really well is View D, which is, um, well, they're all sort of an asymmetric opening, so they fasten down one side. Um, and View D has got no collar, just for something different, a bit of an unusual twist. Um, and it's got pockets as well. I just think that would work really well in either of those fabrics. And then the last couple that I wanted to talk to you about on the coating front were this check, which is, oh, I'm getting a real workout today with these, they're ever so heavy. Um, but yeah, this check I think is super contemporary. It's black, grey and white. Um, just a really lovely warm fabric. I mean, all of these fabrics will keep you cosy all winter long. And the check as I say, I think he's very, very contemporary and I think would look beautiful made up as Vogue 1479, which is also a very contemporary pattern. Um, it's quite a sort of oversized coat, which I think is very on trend. It's got a drop shoulder, which again is very on trend. It's got quite a big sort of collar and lapel and it's double breasted. I just think it would look great made up in that check fabric. And then the last one that I wanted to talk to you about was this boucle. Oh, and that is heavy as well. Oh, so this boucle is just wonderful. Um, you know, what is there not to love about a boucle? I love a good boucle. I've got a boucle coat at home and I wear it all the time. I had it on yesterday, in fact. Um, so again, the monochrome colour scheme, the black and white, obviously will go with everything and anything. And the pattern that I chose, again, is a very contemporary one, and it's McCall 7479. Um, it's kind of quite a sort of relaxed fit coat. It's got um, a tie around the waist, like a belt that you tie around the waist. Um, really comfy, really trendy, really modern. I can just see it with a pair of skinny jeans and some uh, trainers, you know, for a really up-to-date look. Um, and yeah, I think that would work really well with the boucle. So that is the coating fabrics. So the next set of fabrics I'm going to talk to you about are the suiting fabrics. Now, suiting, I don't know about you, but I've noticed it's absolutely everywhere. It was very, very prominent on the catwalks for autumn, winter. I think there's some really interesting takes on suiting out there at the moment. So there's lots of classic sort of um, trouser suits, but there's also some really interesting twists as well. Um, Ralph Lauren, I've seen a lovely um, fitted sort of strapless bustier top um, made in suiting fabric, which is just a really lovely feminine take on suiting. Um, but as I said, yeah, lots of classic trouser suits out there as well. And we've got a lovely range for you. We've got this grey mini herringbone um, fabric. 
which is just really lovely quality a really good sort of staple to have in your wardrobe you know will go with anything really good sort of neutral um for neutral colorway for trousers jackets all those sorts of items we've then also got this really cute sort of mini um hound's tooth or dog tooth um, in black and white as well which again is a really lovely quality seating fabric and also we have um, a boucle seating fabric so again nice neutral colorways that you can just pair with colorful shirts blouses or tops for a little pop of color in your autumn winter wardrobe um, but all of these are just really really wearable everyday fabrics and then we've also got this lovely one it's sort of like a greyish blue um greyish bluish color and it's got little squares on it which if i hold it up to the camera you should be able to see um, and that's a really really lovely suiting fabric as well and then there's a couple of others that are already on the website so there's a prince of wales check um, and probably a couple of others um, from memory but the patterns that i chose for these are Birda 7134 which is just a nice classic tailored suit um, the trousers are nice and slim fitting so I think they're really modern um, and then there's different options for the jacket you can go for a longer jacket or a shorter jacket um, and then the other thing you could do I suppose is um, you might be a man yourself or you might have a man in your life that you would like to make a suit for and I chose Birda 6871 which is just a classic men's suit again lots of options with the jackets and the trousers um, I think either of those patterns would work really well in any of these suiting fabrics so that's the suiting so the next fabrics I want to talk to you about are the Liberty Lawns, which are just absolutely gorgeous. They're world renowned, super soft, um, high quality cotton lawns with beautiful drape and just the most unique and wonderful designs. I'm really, really excited to have these on the website. So we've got a number of different designs. This one is just absolutely beautiful, I think, for autumn. It's really sort of earthy tones, autumnal colours, like a vintagey sort of feel to it. I think I'm actually holding that upside down. <laughs> it's been bolted upside down, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I just think that would look really, really nice made up in a shirt or a blouse, just to add a little bit of colour to your autumn winter wardrobe. And the same again with this design, I just think this is quite an exotic sort of print, um, really beautiful pinky colours, um, just a lovely, lovely pop of colour, you know, made up as a, a blouse or a shirt um, to wear with the rest of your winter wardrobe. But these also make great skirts and dresses as well. Um, this one is just absolutely beautiful again I think the thing that's really lovely about Liberties not only the quality um, but also just you know how unique they are I mean what a lovely colour combination is that aqua and purple it's just gorgeous um, I think that works really really well and then we've got this one which is like a sort of bluey purpley colour um, with little multicoloured flowers on it it's just so so pretty so lovely again would work brilliantly I think as a shirt or a blouse um, but equally you know you can make dresses and skirts with these and then finally I really really love this design I think this is gorgeous just so unique and unusual the print is on that um, and the colours are just gorgeous as well and just hold it a little bit closer for you to have a look um really really beautiful and um yeah as i said i'm i'm sort of thinking with these at the moment a really good way to inject some color into your winter wardrobe in the form of a blouse or a shirt and i'm about to make simplicity 8454 in one of our beautiful cotton lawns myself so this is a really lovely new blouse pattern that's part of the new season release from simplicity with some great options the view i'm going to make is view a which is a long sleeve blouse and it's got like a ruffle going across the front um, and a ruffled sleeve as well I just think it's really really lovely it'll work look great with trousers but look great with skirts as well and there's some really pretty short sleeved options there that I'm sure I'll make in the summer and spring months as well 
And then the other suggestion I was going to make that I think would work quite well is the um, Rosa shirt um, by Tilly and the Buttons. I've heard really good things about the fit of this pattern. Um, so I think that could work really well in any of these fabrics. Um, and another option would be the Sewaholic Granville shirt as well could work really well. Um, so that's our beautiful Liberty lawns. Um, we've also got a whole load of other new lawns. We've got some with hydrangeas on. We've got a lovely kaleidoscope um, blue and white design lawn. We've got a really unusual sort of Japanese print lawn as well. All of them are available on the website. So do go on and have a look. And that's our update on the lawns in our, on our website. We've also added a few polyesters and crepes and double georgettes. So here's just a little pick of those. Um, this is a beautiful double georgette um, fabric in sort of, it's a very dark navy, almost black looking background. Um, I think the print is just absolutely beautiful on that. Um, I love the colours of the flowers. Again, very on trend with the whole wine um, coloured trend this season. Um, and then we've also got this, um, I think it's polyester, yeah, polyester, I think it might be a polyester crepe. Um, you'd have to have a look, as I said, all the compositions and everything are on the website if you look. Um, but again, just another really beautiful um, print. I love the sort of florals on the black background. I think that would make a really lovely blouse. Um, and then finally, I really love um, this black, red and olive. Um, I think this is a polyester as well. Um, it's just so, so pretty and got great drape as well. Um, and I just think it's just really, really beautiful. I think this would work really well as a blouse as well for winter paired with a black skirt and black tights. Um, I think I'm really hoping that I'm going to get round to making something with that. And I think the thing I would make with that one is um, the Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse. I think it would work really well. And I've heard a lot of good things about that pattern, that that's quite a nice, simple, easy blouse pattern. So definitely worth a try. That's the polyesters. So the next set of fabrics I want to talk to you about are the gorgeous ponties that we've added to our range. So ponty is a double knit fabric. Um, it's a little bit heavier weight than your usual jersey and quite stable as well. So quite nice to work with. Um, and also will keep you warm all winter long. It's a great fabric for this time of year because it's just that little bit heavier, that little bit cosier. Um, and we've got some great options here for you. So we've got this lovely black and white stripe, which is just a nice, classic, simple design. Um, you can see the drape and the movement there. And I think this fabric would look lovely, made up as just a very simple um, sort of shift dress. And Simplicity have just brought us out. It's one of the brand new Simplicity patterns. Um, and it's in their new pattern hacking range, which I shared a video on our Facebook page about, um, about a week ago. Um, it's just a really nice simple shift dress. The fabric on the pattern packet is very similar to the one I've just shown you and I think it would just be a really nice comfortable chuck it on, wear it all the time sort of dress so I think that would work really really well and because it is one of the hacking range um, it gives you options and suggestions for hacking the pattern to make it your own as well so that's my pick for that fabric. The next one I want to talk to you about, I really love this. Um, this is just gorgeous. It's a navy with a ribbon stripe. So it's like a flecky sort of white stripe running across it. It's a really nice weight. Um, it's still got nice drape and movement, even though it's slightly heavier weight. And I think um, because it is um, a really nice weight, I think it would make a really lovely linden sweatshirt. And that would be my plan for that fabric, which I'm really, really hoping I get around to making one of those this winter because everybody raves about that pattern. I think in that navy blue, it would be so, so wearable. I think I'd be wearing it all winter long. So yeah, that would definitely be my plan for that one. The next one I want to share with you is this really lovely geometric um, blue ponty fabric. And again, lovely movement, lovely drape. Um, just really, really good. Just the minute we saw this, we ordered it. We were like, oh God, we've got to have that. It's so lovely. Um, just nice and unusual, just something a bit different. And the pattern that I chose for that one is New Look 6298. 
which again is just a nice simple um, knit shift dress and there's lots of different options there's different um, necklines there's different pocket options as well um, but again I think that would just be a really really super wearable dress that you'd get loads of wear out of over the winter months um, and then the other two I wanted to talk to you about are um, this blue and black puppy tooth I think they called it um, fabric which is really really nice a nice sort of classic again great movement great drape and will keep you super warm and I think this would just look awesome you could make a really nice little suit with this so you could make a nice little jacket and a nice little skirt to go with it and I think that would look really really classic um, I've seen I'm sure I've seen Rachel from House of Pinero make something similar um, a while ago and the pattern that I think I would would work well for this and also the geometric one that I just taught you about this one um, in terms of skirts I think the Mabel pattern by Colette patterns um, would be a really good option it's just a simple knit straight skirt with them um, different options for the length I think one of them's got like a fake placket with buttons down the front which maybe I wouldn't go for with these patterned fabrics but certainly the plain simple straight skirt I think would work really well and um, it's a great pattern for beginners because it's really really easy but equally if you're a more experienced sewist but you just want to whip something up and wear it tomorrow it's perfect for that as well um, so hopefully I'll get round to that one as well um, and then finally we've got this lovely ponte I really love this one as well so again it's sort of a geometric print um, really really lovely colourway it's sort of a greyish bluish colourway again so dead dead wearable again um, and I can see this made up in just some nice um, trousers just a nice sort of fitted pair of trousers um, so yeah that's the ponties that we've got for you all ultra wearable nice and warm perfect for winter so now I'm going to talk to you about our jersey and scuba fabrics that we've added to the website so we've got some really really fun different designs we've got a really good range of colors um, there's some polyester spandex mixes there's some viscose spandex mixes um, and then there's some poly viscose spandex mixes so as always all of the compositions are detailed on the website so have a look at those if you're interested um, but I'm just going to start off with this little beauty which um, I have definitely got my eye on I'm a massive massive lover of animal print always have been always will be um, I just think the red and black colorway is just absolutely gorgeous just really really lovely um, really on trend with the whole red berry sort of colored theme this autumn winter um, and I think I would be very tempted to be honest to just make another Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top in that and then I'm planning on making um, a black sort of pelmet skirt that I would wear with it and just black thick black tights and black boots um, so that's the first one then we've got this one which I really really love I just think is so oh, just so beautiful so unusual it almost looks like a lace sort of effect on this fabric it's got like a cross hatch sort of all over it um, and then it's got the floral design um, I think the colours are absolutely gorgeous this sort of um, splash of electric blue it almost is it's a really sort of nice vibrant blue against the black and white background I think works really really well and it's just a really nice way um, to add something really unique into your wardrobe and I think that would look really nice made up as a nice dress um, we've also got this one which is again a lovely twist on you know the standard sort of patterns that you see and prints that you see out there so Again, we've got these very on-trend sort of wine, um, berry sort of tones against a black background. But what's really unusual about this is it is a floral, but it's like an abstract floral. It's sort of a smudged um, floral effect, if you like. And I think that's really, really nice and really unusual. Just a little bit different to the sorts of things that you're probably seeing in the shops right now and that you're seeing um, in terms of fabric choices. And then I think this is a really nice colourway for autumn winter. It's super duper soft um, and it's a paisley print um, in a sort of teal um, and a bit of brown um, sort of colourway, but just really, really lovely. Great drape and movement on that fabric as well. Um, and I think, yeah, that would just look really nice made up as probably a wrap dress. I think I'd be tempted to make in that one. 
Um, and then the other jersey fabric I wanted to talk to you about is this lovely one, which is sort of an abstracty animal print, I guess, again. And um, the colours are purple and a sort of grey and white. And again, they all of these are really, really, I can't, I wish I could show you on camera how, how soft they are, but just take my stroking as, <laughs> as my word for it. They're really, really lovely. They're gonna feel gorgeous against your skin. And they're perfect at this time of year, I think, for tops and dresses, and you can layer them up with cardigans um, to keep you nice and warm. So yeah, you're always kind of, you know, sometimes you can be freezing cold outside, you get to work and it's absolutely boiling hot. So I think they're a great option for that because you can layer and then you can, you know take your cardigan off if you need to or whatever so definitely really really useful to have in your wardrobe and for those i would recommend um as i said the tilly and the buttons agnes top i think is a great one um last year i made a quick sew 4069 um which is like a turtleneck pattern and i made that in a plain um our isabella wool mix jersey which is beautiful and available in a range of colors but I'm quite tempted to make a patterned one this year. In fact, that animal print in the red and black, I think would probably work quite well. Um, the other patterns as well, I would consider making in some of these fabrics are just a nice wrap dress. I keep saying I'm gonna make a wrap dress. I haven't quite got around to it, but if I did, if I do, which hopefully I will, I would make Simplicity 1653, which is an amazing fit pattern, which I think looks really good and has got lots of different options for the sleeves and um, the hems and the length of the dress. Um, or the other one that I'm really tempted by is the Sew Over It Eve dress. I think it looks really, really lovely. Um, one version has got sort of quite um, big sort of drapey, um, sleeves and it's very very summery but the other version has got like three quarter sleeves and um, it hasn't got a dip hem which which the summery one has um, and I think that would make a really good wrap dress it just looks like a really nice sort of fitted um, dress and yeah I'd be really tempted to make that as well so there are my pattern picks for the jerseys and then the other ones I wanted to mention were we've got some more scuba in stock um, so this one I just think is amazing um, it's like a, a navy background and it's got um, again the sort of wine themed colours coming through it um, it's just it's just absolutely stunning I mean I think you know you're gonna make a, a if you make a dress with this I think you would really stand out for the crowd from the crowd at a special occasion or um on an evening out for example um I did a blog post recently oh, I've done a couple of blog posts recently one I made a scuba dress it was a simplicity pattern and it was a woven pattern but I made it with scuba fabric and it turned out really really well I was really happy with it um, and I think that that would work really really well in this fabric um, but also I just put some musings on the blog about working with scuba um, and all the benefits of it because it's actually a really good fabric to work with I think it's sort of relatively new um, to a lot of people but actually there's a lot of benefits to working with scuba so hop onto the blog the links are below have a little read and see what you think um, and then we've also got this scuba which is beautiful and it's um, like a brush stroke design um, lots and lots of different colours a nice multicoloured um, pattern and um, this really is a replacement we had another one like this a while back um, and we sold out of it it was so so popular and we couldn't get any more so we've sourced that one um, which is very similar and just as beautiful I think so I hope you've enjoyed all of that today um, there's a few new denims that we've put on as well and a few other things that have gone onto the website but obviously I can't share them all with you because I'd, I'd be here all day um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed it um, please like and subscribe if you like what you see and if you do do that um, you know, you'll get a notification every time we release a new vlog so you'll be able to um, stay up to date with everything that's going on here it's so essential um, thanks very much for watching and um, have a great day yeah.